A homegrown Wisconsin girl is becoming a big star in the culinary world. Anna Dixon moved back to Madison from California a year ago to become the executive chef at Merchant. The New Glarus native started cooking six course dinners for her family when she was just eight years old. Now at 26, she's being celebrated as Madison Magazine's Chef of the Year. Anna, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. What did you prepare today? This looks delicious. I just prepared a couple little things for us to snack on. Okay. Uh, we have our braised pork shank, which is reduced with garlic and white wine to make the broth. It's served with sauteed spinach from Vitruvian Farms and sauteed hen of the wood mushrooms from northern Wisconsin. It smells heavenly. Thank you. Delicious. Uh, we have our dark chocolate and red beet cake made with red beets from Harmony Valley. It's served with cold spoon gelato, which is out of Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And it's topped with beet sprouts from Clean Fresh Farms in Belleville. Oh, it looks delicious. And what's this? This is our house-made ricotta board. It changes every couple of months seasonally. It started out as a radish board, and then it kind of evolved. And this time of year, we have butternut squash and apples on it. Ooh, can, and you make the ricotta cheese here. Do you mind if I just no, go, go for it? This? Yeah, we make the ricotta cheese in-house. You make it every day? Uh, every other day. Oh, that is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, and it's all Wisconsin cream products, buttermilk, heavy cream, and milk. Oh, it's such a beautiful seasonal plate for fall. It just screams fall. Thanks, and it's everything beautiful. on this board is from Wisconsin. It's Madison sourdough baguette. The squash is from Garden Bee. The apples are from Sutter's Bridge. The mustard greens are from Vitruvian Farms. Oh, wow. And the, there's a little bit of bacon. The bacon is from Newski's. Well, I think the reason it's so exciting for everyone is you are a Wisconsin girl. You're a local homegrown girl. You grew up in New Glarus. Right, yep. Born and raised. Yep. So you remember from as far back as you can remember loving cooking. Well, uh -huh. who, who was your mentor? Was it your mother, your grandmother? <clears throat> How did that all happen? It was everyone. Uh, growing up, all of my family values were instilled at the dinner table. Eating a meal together in our family was just absolutely critical. It was just part of what made our family who they are. And I have memories of meals with my grandma, with my grandpa, with my mom, with my dad, with my siblings, making breakfast, me and my little brother in the morning. It's just, it's always been wrapped around who I am. Mm -hmm. And so then at what age did you say, I'm going to be a chef. This is going to be my career, not well, just my hobby. Uh, what happened was that everyone else said, you're <laughs> going to be a chef. Uh, and it's actually taken kind of an interesting path for me to accept that and then in a way also kind of reject it and say that this is the path that I've come down so far and I love cooking so it was logical. If you love cooking, you should be a chef. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting to the point in my career where I realize that if you love cooking, if you love food, there's so many other things you can do with that passion and with that skill set. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of at the point in my career now where I love cooking, I love being a chef and I love what it does for the community and I'm kind of ready to find the next thing, what I can do next that will allow me to preserve what we have here for future generations to enjoy. It's not just about being in the kitchen, but about ensuring that these beautiful local foods will be available for the future. How do you describe your kind <clears throat> of cooking? It's challenging because it's, it's not rooted in one particular cuisine. It's not French, it's not Spanish, it's not Wisconsin. It's really based around the ingredients. It's mm -hmm. ingredient driven, it's seasonal, it's local, and you just, take an ingredient and you treat it the way that it's intended to be treated and you can apply a French technique or you can use a Spanish recipe but what's important to me is preserving the integrity of the ingredients. And what's the best part of your day when someone like me says I cannot stop eating this? Is That's, that when you know it's a job well done? It's one of the best parts of my day. The two most rewarding parts of my job are when I go to a table and I see someone and they're just like I love him, <laughs> what they're eating. And then the other rewarding part of my day is when my cooks leave at night and they say, thank you. Oh. It just feels great to be able to give you delicious food and to be able to give these guys opportunities to grow. It was really delicious. Merchant is on Pinckney Street in Madison, just off the Capitol Square. And you can read more about Anna's career and see more pictures of her sweet grandma in the current issue of Madison Magazine. She's 98 years old. Did you bring? Yeah, I know. Sorry. I, I didn't pack you a doggy bag. <laughs> Next time. All right. Okay.